Good morning, all my friends. Hey, thank you for your comments. Um, just wanted to uh, say thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, and um, uh, I just wish that when people, you know, I know how you're, when you're, you know, surfing, I don't know how my, my particular videos come up, but um, <clears throat> Uh, it would be nice if people would um, take a look at some other videos before they make comments but I know it, it's like you don't have a lot of time people just don't have time these days um, and um, you're rushing around and everything and so I get it but um, anyway I, I appreciate the comments I appreciate your support um, and I need more uh, support uh, especially spiritual support um, so any prayers um, my way would be really great and um, so anyway uh, something just flashed on here I hope you guys didn't see it but uh, okay um, and I, I wanted to say too that I've been doing this um, giving my so-called first fruits of labor to the Lord each day um, for two years now, every day, and if you just count up the days, that's 700, okay, uh, 365 plus, you know, um, and I've done more than just one video a day, okay, sometimes I've done, like over the weekend, I did nine videos, um, it, mostly music, but I've, you know, several biblical ones as well. Um, and plus other comments and stuff. So I'm, I'm sure that I'm up over 800, maybe even, you, you know, anyway, over 800 videos. I could not have done it without the support of my wife, number one, but of God, you know, and, and the Holy Spirit helping me. But also without sp spiritual support, especially from my dear friend A.M., um, I just, I couldn't have done this without, you know, your encouragement and your um, being there as my Christian uh, sister. I just couldn't have done it. So um, I just thank you so much for that. Um, and, and also for Tony's encouragement to get started for um, other Christians to start their own YouTube channel so that we'd have a community out there speaking for um, you know, being the mouthpiece for the Lord uh, as part of part of the body, if you will. Um, and um, I also wanted to say that God's love is just so great, and uh, it, it's so life giving. It's a life force, and um, and just. You know that's what we're made of is from his love and um, I asked the Lord to help me with that to understand his love because I had a hard time loving loving people people are weird <laughs> me included you know and it's hard to understand sometimes and I'm I you know psychology you know um, I guess it has its place but I'd rather mix it with biblical stuff as well and not just psychology alone because um, I think it's a pseudoscience it's just my opinion but anyway um, uh, I think that we we get everything that we need really from our Bibles and other books that are coming as well uh, especially I love the book of Enoch too and um, anyway I just wanted to say thank you uh, that's I just wanted to say thank you for that and um, I I don't know how much longer I can keep going you know with this um, doing this uh, every day daily uh, without that support I just can't you know do it I mean it just um, there's other things that I could be doing for the Lord too so, um, uh, I need to hear from my subscribers and I, I have a very small following. So, um, 
I put it on a nonprofit. I, I'm not monetized uh, because I didn't want to gain money for doing God's work. I just, you know, figured if the Lord knows my needs and He, you know, He'll provide for it. And I just, I don't know, I just kept, sort of felt funny about doing it. Um, but I'll, you know, I'll think more on it. And uh, some, one of my very young subscribers, I just love you, Justin. You are so funny. Um, mentioned, you know, have you been, have you monetized? And I, when I signed up with YouTube, I said, no, I didn't want any money. And um, so, <clears throat> I don't know, I'll, I'll pray on it and rethink it. So let's get into the, uh, to the Bible this morning. Um, but again, thank you. I, I, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. So, um, okay. <clears throat> We're at chapter 15. And please do pray before you hear God's word. Um, so, uh, Judah makes a solemn co covenant with God, also removes his mother from being queen. And the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, the son of o Oded, and Obed, Oded, okay, Oded. And he went out to meet Asa and said unto him, Hear, ye, hear me, Asa and all Judah, and all Benjamin, the Lord is with you, while ye be with him, and if you seek him, he will be found of you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Now, for a long season, Israel had been without the true God, and without a teaching priest, and without law. But when they, in their trouble, did turn to the Lord God of Israel, and sought him, he was found of them. So, you know, people started noticing that within the people, God was there, okay? I'm sure you figured that out, okay. Um, uh, and in those times, there was no peace to him that went out, nor to him that came in, but great vexations were upon all the inhabitants of the countries, kind of like now. <laughs> and the nation was destroyed of nation and city of city, for God did vex them with all adversity. Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. That's nice. And when Asa heard these words in the prophecy of Obed, the prophet, he took courage and put away the abominable idols. Again, there they go out of all the land of Judah and Benjamin and out of the cities which he had taken from Mount Ephraim and renewed the altar of the Lord that was before the porch of the Lord. And he gathered all Judah and Benjamin and strangers with them out of Ephraim and Manasseh and out of Simeon. And they fell to him out of Israel in abundance. And when they saw that the Lord his God was with him, so they gathered themselves together at Jerusalem in the third month of the, in the 15th year of the reign of Asa, and they offered unto the Lord the same time of the spoil which they had brought, 700 oxen, 7,000 sheep. And they entered into the covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all of their heart and with all of their soul, that whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. And they swore unto the Lord with a loud voice, and with the shouting, and the trumpets, and the cornets. And Judah re rejoiced the oath, and they had sworn with all their heart, and sought him with their whole desire, and he was found of them. And the Lord gave them rest around about. And also concerning Makkah, Mahaka, the mother of Asa, the king, he removed her from being queen because she had made an idol in a grove and Asa cut down her idol and stamped it and burnt it at the brook of Kidron. But the high places were not taken away out of Israel. Nevertheless, the heart of Asa was perfect in all his days. And he brought into the house of God the things that his father had dedicated that he himself 
had dedicated silver and golden vessels, and there was no more war until five and thirteenth year of the reign of Asa. Um, I'm going to stop there because I'm going to run out of time if I don't. I, I talked too much in the beginning. I'm sorry about that, but I will continue later on, um, and uh, we'll start again at chapter 16. Uh, Asa, by the league with the Syrians, uh, diverts Basha from building of Ramah, his death and burial. Okay, and it just it hit me just curious about how the Lord wanted us after reading, you know, from Genesis to King, Second Kings, and then into Chronicles. This is to me more like an emphasis. A, we're relearning this again. And the Lord doesn't do anything without reason, or I mean, at least that's what I found. I, I can't claim to understand his thinking. <laughs> no way. But, um, you know, um, it's just curious to me why he's reemphasizing. And, of course, you know, gave them something to do when they were in captivity. But, you know, there's just, there's always more, more reason why, I think. Um, let me know if there's, like, you know, any... Uh, my Christian friends out there, if you could leave comments about, you know, what we're reading or if you know, you know, like maybe your own personal study, um, something that you might want me to know about, um, leave me a comment about it. You know, anything that you learned from your your own study of these books that we're reading. Um, yeah, leave me a comment, like, share, pass on the good word. <laughs> okay. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.